Well, to Ms. Xu from Norway on behalf of the EPP group. Thank you, President. Uh, first of uh, all, I must commend our colleague, Mr. Sasi, for taking the challenge uh, in uh, this the report. The title of the report does not reveal the highly technical legal issue we have on our table uh, today. But before I address the technicalities, I would like to state the obvious. As a member of the Council of Europe, we are all obliged to comply by the decisions of the European Courts of Human Rights. This should be obvious for all member states, but the many cases before the court and the fact that we need to repeat this in our assembly, as well as remind the Committee of Ministers, is proof to the contrary. The European Convention of Human Rights is the very foundation of our organization, the Council of Europe. The European Court of Human Rights is the safekeeper of this foundation. President, uh, I would now like to add a few remarks on the right of individual applications to the court. This right is a cornerstone for our convention system and the basis for the functioning of our human rights court. As individuals, we are all subject to our national legal framework. But as Europeans, we have the extra protection which the, which the Strasbourg Court guarantees through the right of individual applications. When faced with human rights violations by our states, we have, have somewhere to go. In the reform process of the court, this is something which the Norwegian government as well focused on reform measures, not undermining. This right is something I think we all parliamentarians also should emphasize by giving a strong message through the resolution and recommendation proposed by Mr. Sassi. President, the tables on the two last pages of Mr. Sassi's report list cases where the court's rule 39 has been breached. To many of us, this rule is highly technical and needs some studying to understand. But what is clear to me is that to individuals who have brought their cases to the court, this rule is important so that they can keep safe from extradition and expulsion to place where they risk, for example, torture, while their case is being investigated by the court. It is therefore worrying to see that there are so many cases of violations. The examples Mr. Sasi give in his report give causes for great concern for the practice in the Russian Federation and other member states we often see on the list of those having the most cases brought, brought to the court. But the list shows us that these are not the only in breach of this rule. I therefore encourage you to, to support both the resolution and the recommendation so that we send a strong message to all Council of Europe member states that the discussion of our court are to be followed. Thank you, Mr. President.